It was supposed to be a relaxing holiday with friends and family, but Michael Schumacher was airlifted to hospital after he hit his head on a rock just days before the new year. The former Formula One driver was used to going fast on the slopes as well as the track, but the speed of his recovery is much slower than many were hoping. This patient has a frontal contusion. Leading neurosurgeons uh, in the UK brain, say it's uh, unusual to be uh, kept in a medically induced coma for more than two weeks, and his doctors could be worried about chest infections and breathing problems. Our French colleagues tend to uh, ventilate patients with their head injuries much longer than we do here, but I certainly wouldn't discount the possibility of Mr Schumacher, for example, still having a, a reasonable recovery from this. The hospital where Michael Schumacher is being treated is a specialist centre for people with brain injuries. He was joined on the ward by this British patient, Fernando Greece. I have nothing but praise for the doctors and the care that I was given and the, the French are very, very thorough. But the longer doctors keep Michael Schumacher in a medically induced coma, the less likely it is he'll make anything like a full recovery. His former team, Ferrari, say they're still getting daily messages from fans around the world and hoping he will manage to pull through. Maddie Savage, BBC News.